This is a guitar lesson for the new passenger song, Runaway. Well, my heart's a runaway. Living by the campfire light. Hey, I can feel it. I don't want to run this time. How's everyone doing? Hope you're keeping well. My name is Dave Donahue, the guitar coach. So if you're returning to the lessons, welcome back. Let me know how you're getting on with the other ones. And if you're new to the videos, uh, welcome. So if you want to hit subscribe to keep up to date, I put up like new lessons every week on latest songs. So if you're into new music and you're into learning guitar and you like the way it's broken down, just hit subscribe below or hit like. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm going to get into the lesson now. Okay, so to begin, you're going to need a capo on the fifth fret. All these chords I'll have written in the description below, but I'm going to run through them here anyways, just so you have them. Okay, so we have an A minor. Now, one thing I'm just going to point out about this slide is you will see in the second bar, I have G with the B bass written. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to replace it with C with the B bass. Both of them sound very similar. Here's G with the B bass, C with the B bass. Okay, you hear the B is very prevalent in it. But the reason is to go from A minor to C, doing C with the B bass is definitely the best idea. I'll have the chords written in the description below. Now, so A minor, of course, is that. Now, C we've here. Now I'm going to show you C with the B bass. Basically, just take off your ring finger at the top, then move the other finger, your middle finger here, move it up a string. And that's it. Hit it from the A string down. So one thing you could begin to do first is working on your movements, going A minor, A minor, C with the B, C. Then fall back down, C, C with the B, A minor. Okay, so now we have the chords covered there. And by the way, we use a lot of the same chords throughout the song. So the rhythm is the next thing. I just had it broken up just because it goes as follows. It goes... wanted to like break it up so you could understand it even better so I'll count it as follows it goes one and two E and a three and four E and a. okay now one thing I will point out is that that would cover one bar so the first bar would go now that's that first bar A minor played the next bar though that A minor going to the G with the B bass, which is actually C with the B bass, apologies again. Any bars you see in the song that have two chords written back to back like that, you're gonna see it on those two there, and you're gonna see it on these two at the end, the C to C with the B bass. What I'd like you to give a go at is, for those chords, just hitting the root note, then the rest of the chord, then same thing for the following chord, root note, rest of chord. Now, let's hear how that sounds. I'll give you an example of the second bar. So it goes one and two E and uh, here we go. Then we're back to normal on the C. All right, so with that example now, I'm gonna play all this line. So it goes second bar now watch watch again and we're back again okay now the thing about this is this is actually your intro as well just that the intro it starts a little ahead of time so it starts with the C C with the B bass then we're in the whole line so it goes dun, dun, dun. So that loops around and even his singing in the verse begins at the end of that line it goes so going from the second last bar well my heart to run away living by the campfire light yeah my love's a stowaway slipping out into the night
that is our verse. And if you're wondering where I'm pulling these song sections from, I have a link left for the lyric site I'm referencing below in the description. Okay, chorus time. You'll notice our friendly F chord is in this. Now, the thing about it is, you can play F. I generally play it this way, okay? I'm using the four strings. I don't go bar chord because it's too much movement, I feel, and in the sound, it's to go like this. It feels a bit better and more natural. Okay, so F will be in the description below. The rhythm is the same, which is good news. Hey, I can feel it. I don't want to run this time. I can feel it now. Now be the chorus. In this part. I'll go back into the other section, the instrumental. What is this instrumental, you may ask? <laughs> well, the thing is, it's the same as the intro. And I remember to put in C to B bass in this one. All good. So, we've A minor, same again. And that important rhythm change. And you see the repeat mark we go back? Back into another verse. Now the second verse, just to let you know, it's the exact same chords, just that it is so toned down. So you could just hit single strums if you want, like going A minor. Like that, just an idea. And the song order is listed below as well. As with most pop songs nowadays and most folk songs, it is like intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then the bridge comes. So true enough to form, the bridge is here. No new chords at this stage, uh, the rhythm is the same as before. So his singing changes, of course, and you have repeat marks. So you're going to play this line twice. The runaway trains never get no peace. They keep on running till their engine sees. Keep on running and I don't stand still. No, no, love, no, I never will. And I loop around like that. Just about hung in there. <laughs> all right, and those are all the parts you need to play the new passenger song. Now, the main questions I would see there being would be, well, is that all the song? And it totally is. The things to watch are as follows. It's that the sections of the songs, I've them written out in the description below. So you'll find the order there, and I've listed a link to the lyrics description site that um, I'm using. And then all you need to do is go back to the song section, and that will add it all up together. As I said in a few lessons, I aim to keep the videos as short as possible just because I know nowadays like opening up a YouTube video that's 20 minutes long isn't for everyone. So I'm just trying to compress it as much as possible and keep it as short and simple. So let me know if you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you very soon.